have any idea who he is or why he would want to jump. Moments ago, police informed us that they are bringing in a crisis specialist or negotiator who will attempt to talk the man into coming down safely. And I believe, yes, the negotiator has just arrived. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, not right now. There you go, guys. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Colin. Nate, how are you? Yeah, it'd be a whole lot better if this guy either jump or give up. We've got tickets to the playoff game tonight. So how much have you lost on the Lakers so far this year, huh? Man, I didn't want to say it. Camille knew be my legs dangling off the 12th floor balcony. Yeah, no doubt. How's your family? Good, good. You know, today's Jessica's birthday. Big five. Oh. Tried to get the day off. They called me up north to babysit that rookie. Get back in town, they called me to this. I tell you what, let's just go up there, give him a little push, and we'll go home early. <laughs> it's just a suggestion. So I assume you bought her one of those. I may be gone a lot, but I'm still a good father of prisons. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Uh, let me guess. Let's see. Uh, pony? No. Hawaiian vacation. A condo in Tahiti, perhaps. <laughs> Nothing that bad. She's been bugging me for a bike, so I gave and I got her one. She's got the little training wheels, a basket, a little pink helmet, you know? Cool. Yeah, the old training wheel days. Let's see. Skin knees, crying kids, uh, doctor bills. <sighs> Precious memory. She should really be excited. You know, I am actually. I was supposed to give it to her tonight before dinner, but I couldn't wait. So we took it out for a spin this morning. You know, she insisted that we take it over to the babysitter's house so she could show her friends. <laughs> hey, you know what? She's really good. You ought to bring Mikey over sometime and let them ride together. That sounds great. You know, wife and I could use a little quality time. It's a, a slow year. Oh, man, too much information. So, what do we have? Male in the mid-twenties. He's not registered to the room, got in somehow. Won't let anybody get near him, says he's going to jump. Okay. Well, send everybody back downstairs. Nobody comes up until I say. Don't want the kid getting spooked. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Hey, yeah. Uh, remember, playoff tickets. Hello there. My name's Detective Mills. I've sent everyone away, so it's just you and me. I'm here to talk, nothing more. I'm going to open the door now, so don't be alarmed, all right? It's all right. I'm here to help you. Can you make them go away? Who? The people. They don't know. They don't want to see you. Mind if I take a seat? I'm just going to sit here on the window ledge, all right? Mind if I ask you your name? It won't matter. I'd still like to know your name. Mine's Colin, what's yours? David. David, that's a great name. It's my father's name. He likes to go by Dave. Do you want me to call you David or can I call you Dave? Dave's all right. David is. Now, Dave, can I ask you a favor? What? Well, it's two things, really. But first, I want you to know that I'm here to talk, nothing more. That you can trust me completely, all right? Now, first, Dave, I'd like you to promise me that you're not going to do anything until we've had the chance to talk. Can you do that for me? That ledge isn't going anywhere, Dave. Got all the time in the world. A little talking won't hurt, all right? Great. 
a second, I'd like you to look at me. Just for a moment. I'd like to put a face with a name. Is that okay? There you are. It's nice to meet you, Dave. Now, is it alright if we look at each other while we talk? Think of it this way. If you're looking at me, you know I'm not trying to sneak up behind you or anything. Sound good? Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? This is very important. And I want you to think about this. I need a straight answer, all right? A lot will rest upon your answer to this question. Who do you think is going to win the championship this year? You see, I'm thinking of making a couple of bets. Use all the help I can get. I lost my shirt last year and I don't need to repeat, so... What do you say, can you help a guy out? I don't know. As long as it's not the Lakers. You know, I have a friend you should talk to. Kobe's overrated. I have to say I agree. Can I ask you for another favor? You see, my heart's not as good as it used to be. Tell you the truth, my wife's got me on one of those new heart diets. Some uh, low carb cholesterol, polyuroinsaturated, monotheistic, dehydrofied types of things, you know? I think she got it from that Dr. Phil guy on TV. I'd like to punch that guy in the nose. Anyway, seeing on that railing like that makes me about as nervous as when my wife calls out breakfast is ready every morning. So it would do my heart a whole lot of good if you could just at least put one leg on this side of the railing. Can you do that for me? It'll make it easier to talk to you. I know my neck gets cramped if I twist it like that for too long. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. I really do. I'm sorry, but I gotta ask for one more favorite. I promise this is it. This windowsill is killing my butt. So, is it alright if I just come out here and lean against the railing here? I promise not to move. Man. Appreciate that. Oh! Much better. My underwear was starting to voyage into the final frontier, if you get what I mean. You don't want... Not a Star Trek fan, huh? It's alright. Not important. If you're ready, I'd like to ask you why you're here. Take your time, son. You can trust me. Whatever you say is just between the two of us. We'll get through this together, alright? Look at me, Dave. It's just you and me, son. I'm not going anywhere. Now, you said before that you wanted the people to leave. But you didn't want them to see. What is it that you don't want them to see, Dave? Death. You mean... You don't want them to see you jump. You don't want them to see you die. I can't get the images out of my head. The pictures, they won't go away. Stay with me, buddy. Tell me what happened. There was an accident. I, I worked a double shift last night and I was just so tired, you know? My friend, he gave me a pill to help me make it through the night. But as I was driving home this morning, I couldn't stay awake. She was just crossing the street. I only saw her a split second before. I felt her body under my tires. 
Stay back! Okay, now, now listen to me. It, it was an accident. You said so yourself. You didn't mean to hit her. But she's dead! Don't you understand? I killed someone! I took her life, her future, everything! I'm a murderer. Do you know what that feels like? Do you have any idea? Sacrificing your life isn't going to bring her back. Dave, listen to me. It was a horrible, horrible accident. But you didn't mean to do it. And buddy, I know almost nothing about you. But I do know this. That you're not a coward. And jumping off that ledge is the coward's way out, Dave. But you're, but you're no coward. I know you're not. You know, I wouldn't care about the accident. A coward would, would run and hide. A coward would want to pretend it never happened. But you're here, Dave. You're here because you feel bad. You're here because you care about that little girl. You're here because you care about others. You care, Dave. You care. But you're not going to jump. I'm sorry. You're wrong. I'm not gonna let you do this, Dave. You have no choice. Listen to me. The reason why murder is such a horrible crime is because you're purposely taking something away that you can never, ever get back. Now, what happened with the little girl was an accident. You didn't mean to do it. But if you do this now, if you take your own life, then you're a murderer, Dave. Think about the little girl. Do you honestly believe that she would have you do this? that she would require your life for a mistake that took hers. Let me help you, Dave. We'll get through this together. Time, I'm sure they'll understand. She could have been more than four or five. She still had training wheels on her little bike. She was so small, and I didn't see her. Was she wearing a little pink helmet? <laughs> yeah, she was. How did you know? Listen to me. Very carefully. Where is your house? What? Answer me. Where do you live? In Pinedale. 875 West Grove Street. Sorry. I'm sorry for... I thought for a minute that you, you were going to say Evergreen Terrace. How did you know? What? My house is in Pinedale. I live in Pinedale. 
but I was on my way to my girlfriend's house when I hit the little girl. She lives in Evergreen Terrace. Jessica, I thought it was dead. Colin, if this is a joke, it's not funny. This, this isn't a joke. I just killed the man, killed our daughter. Okay, Jessica's party starts at six. I have to pick up her friend. I have to pick up the cake in an hour. Honey, I don't have time for this. Sarah, Sarah. Hello, Daddy. Jessica? Mommy picked me up from the baby service early. Now we have to go pick up Brandy because her mom called out and she don't have a ride. I'm sorry to hear that, baby. Can I ride my new bike at Lee's house tomorrow? It's, it's a wonderful idea. Mommy said you might be late to my party and not gonna miss my party room.
course. Without Sweet Home, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay, Daddy, I love you. I love you too, baby. Happy birthday.